Hello everyone, my name is Zambi32 and today we have a match uh, We are spectated um, And the players are Madgrab and Sardara They were also in the voice chat, so I was talking with them And it was a interesting match to spectate when your the players are playing against each other So I had to be a bit more careful what not to say Not to ruin the match so I tried to do some commentary and just talk with them and ask questions and stuff like that. So that was nice. Hopefully you will enjoy um, the match overall and also the commentary a bit. All right, uh, let the match begin. Oh yeah. I started playing for some deers, which is nice. I can see both of you, you guys, and we are in the same voice chat. So I will not spoil what's going on. So what do you want me to talk about? Good point, actually. Uh, <laughs> we are in the voice chat. You're I mean, are, you can say, you can, like, I'm, I'm not really that bothered. You can describe what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, same. I don't mind. You don't mind? Alright. Oh, this will be funky. Anyways. Do you have that problem, Sidera, when sometimes like the berry bush is behind a tree and it's kind of hard to select? Oh, yeah. I think they made an um, update about that, so it's a bit easier. Or at right. least um, you can put your mouse around it so you can see the berry bush. At least you know what you're clicking. Um, at least it did that, so that's something. It's more like, it's less for when you actually... The hand's useful, but it's for more when you're setting waypoints. Ah, uh, when you do waypoints it's rubbish. You can't really know. But I mean, it's not a big deal, it's only a waypoint, so... Sure, when you gather it's not a waypoint, but when you do a waypoint, you kind of want them to gather what you're waypointing to. If that makes sense. I think it makes yeah. sense. Hmm. That's an interesting starting. So what was the most um, questionable gameplay that you once did, and it worked out in the end? Uh, I went uh, Fast Wonder. Fast Wonder. Every oh, Fast Wonder, wow. Yeah, fast I know, and it worked. How many stages is it to win? Is it four stages or five? It's four. Or fuck, it was four. Fuck my life, that's four stages. I mean, you get all kind of... Um, what do you get? You get knowledge points from that, right? Right, right. You get so many, you don't know what to do with them, to be honest. Well... You put them into units or technology or whatnot. It's not like worth it. it. It's just like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's not worth way. it, but yeah. I mean, there was a discussion um, with Now. How do I pronounce his name? Now, uh, now. I don't know. Now. Now. I mean, he, he said that Scribes is basically a meme. You don't really use it for 1v1. It is a meme. It is, but it's kind of fun, right? You get the points and you're like, yes, I have so many points, I must be strong now. And then you get the points you have like, wait, what do I do with them? It is a meme in the end. But um, but Linker, Linkred said that there will be something with the points when we have civilization. So there is something uh, behind the scenes, probably. Man, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, don't worry. What is this? Oh man, this is so bad. What are you doing? Not like this. I'll give you a hint. Don't build buildings. On the Forta land. Yeah. Do you guys often use the mouse uh, uh, scroll that you zoom in and zoom out? That's a new feature that they added in. So you can zoom in even further. 
normally just stay at the same zoom level to be honest. I always use the max out zoom level so you can see all the map and then you know shift click and with the scout. I always use that, it's kinda it's kinda nice. Oh the first battle. Let's see if the scout will get a kill. No? Alright. I see you going into the Light Axeman in this uh, patch more. I mean, the last match you went for like light, light Axeman as well. You should go to light, for Light Axeman to be honest. I don't know, I think. Well, not, not at the moment, but normally it's quite easy for me to sustain that because it's just food, isn't it? You don't need to worry about the wood. Whereas with Slim, you've got to worry about the wood. Yeah, but Light Axeman costs more food. And that's always uh, something to consider early on. True. Yeah, but you're good with food. You always make tons of uh, farms, so you have no problem. Normally, not not at the moment, though. I mean, they did nerf slingers. Um, I mean, there was even another patch, right? The today one that they nerfed their price and they take longer to produce. So yeah, they are a bit more. Uh, they're, they're for more defensive, I think. They're good for offense as well, but now they are more expensive. That's not a bad trading, I think. It's a bit of idle time, but... Not worth, not bad. I'm always, I'm, I'm always curious about this. The units heal up slowly, but they still heal up. And I have no idea why. There is no medic in battle. Th their HP just goes up randomly. It's... It's unrealistic. Yeah, but I don't think this is going exactly for all realism. I mean, we got hunger in this game, so maybe they will. Uh... My imagination, if you're going too, be... I mean, if you're too hurt, the unit is too hurt. Eventually, will die from his injuries instead of heal up. But they won't go that far, right? That doesn't make uh, sense. It'll be too hardcore. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it seems a bit, for a game at this sort of scale, very, very specific, if that makes sense. Yeah, they don't need to go that far. I mean, we do have a tech... Uh, what, what do we call them? Um, their name is... Village Improvements. Alright. I mean, there is one improvement that just gives them more health regeneration. It's a huge health regeneration increment, but still. I don't know how much you use it, but I mean, probably a lot. Depends on the unit. Alright, alright. Hmm. So this is a really front palace. I'm curious what we're gonna be uh, the idea. Really front. I used to do that to uh, get my villages a bit of an advantage. 
Yes, it's it's good for a militia, but if you lose that palace later on, that's going to be a bit of a um, disadvantage. So that's also something to consider. By the way, one thing I noticed, farms don't have any um, siege defense, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, yes, they don't have any siege defense. Siege, so I guess not. If you take the village um, baked clay bricks, do that give them any defense or it doesn't include them? I don't think that would include them. Yeah, I, mean, I doubt. I'd be surprised. It's not a building, so... I doubt. 150 HP. Hmm. It's pretty much a dwelling. Alright. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe farms need to have less HP. So maybe you have a supper and uh, it comes in and starts to destroy the farms. Five suppers coming in. Boom, like two hits, boom, it goes down, something like that. Yeah, you can kill them quite quickly with sappers, to be fair. Yes. Quite, I used to do that, run into the sappers and destroy all their farms, but obviously, if they've got wood, then it's not really useful. I mean, the opponent can easily get the wood back, but it's about idle time, you know? You're making the workers being idle, and it costs 50 foot wood to make each farm, and maybe in battle or... You're in the heat in the in the in the match, so that's gonna be a big uh, disadvantage for the opponent. I mean, if you have sappers, what do you use them for, other than killing the opponent uh, village center? Imagine what you use them for. To be honest, that'll be the only thing I use them for. I mean, they nerf sappers, right? They they nerf them their damage. That. Yeah, then of them from what was it? Sixteen or fifteen? I don't know. Something like that. To twelve. Oh. It's hard to see, but there's a mix of units there, right? We have light axemen and heavy axemen. Yeah, it's just light axe and heavy axe. Yeah. So what's the idea behind that? You have a mass amount of uh, melee units. And what do you do with them? Just attack really, but uh, uh, at the moment, I'm going for... Because what I do is when I've got extra food, mm -hmm. I just make uh, light axe and heavy axe, because obviously they only cost food. So that's quite a useful thing to do, I think. Uh, but now I just make... Heavy axes because they're slightly more powerful. Because just light axes on their own are good for like flanking and stuff. But if you want to do an actual proper attack, then it's not that, not that effective. I don't think because yeah, they're a bit weak on their own. Hmm. Yeah, the heavy axemen they have much more. I mean, they're more tanky because they have more HP and they have huge damage. I don't know about their attack speed, but definitely something to be afraid of yeah again it's they're fast and stuff but the problem with it, that, that attack speed is even if you're chasing someone um, they have to hit them once and obviously they're, they're chasing them again so like chasing doesn't seem to ever work like especially obviously with fighting um, Sai he loves his micro so he always pulls his units back when he's not gonna win it's really hard to get him because he just keeps running away further and further and further yeah, that's a that's a the um, just microing your units. That's good. Yeah, I mean the nerfed. I think um, javelin speed, so at least it's more easier to catch them, even with the heavy axemen. Uh, yes, heavy axemen can catch up. They have seven speed, and javelins only have six, right? Yeah, six. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, it's still pretty. 
quick. Yeah, I've just yes, it's yeah, you know, fighting Sai so many times I I realized chasing it is not is not the answer. <laughs> I mean, Light Axemen can definitely catch up, they have uh, 3 more speed, it's uh, quite a substantial one. But again, they can also dive pretty fast. I mean, not too fast, but yeah. When they catch up, they'll do quite the damage. When they catch up, if they catch up. But, but I mean, the thing is, you can just run back to your base, so it's like, alright. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's also a problem. And also, Javelins almost have the same base damage, the melee. As a, as a light axeman, right? So it it kind of feels weird, but then again, light axemen have low range, so it compensates for that. I would have been housed like five times in this game. Jeez. When you make villagers and um, from multiple military buildings, then you get house very, very fast. You need to build mm, a few houses in one go. Yeah. How many population do you get from each house? Six or ten? Because I always forget. So, six. Six. Yeah, so you need a few houses in one go, otherwise you'd be filled in a few seconds, pretty much. Because remember, the the buildings, they produce units even when you have like no population to, to release. So automatically, three will go out or four will go out in one moment, and then you have to prepare another one. I see you guys are chilling at the moment. Yeah, I'm trying to sort my eco out at the moment. I've played him too many times to know not to try fate. <laughs> Holy shit. This will be good. I don't know, but for me it's a bit hard to distinguish when a unit has um, an upgrade from the forge or not, because they, they look kind of the same. Yeah, I've noticed, I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of difficult, I suppose, but you just got to look very specifically at it, I suppose. I mean, like, the helmet is obviously, because you can see um, a brown or a gold um, helmet, so that's obvious. But how do you differentiate when they have different shields, you know? Yeah, they, they also, the shield goes a little bronze color. Ah. Uh, Alright, GG. Yeah, I mean... You could just push in, I think. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the rest of that was like, but I suppose, yeah, could have pushed in. Yeah, yeah good game, good game. Those sappers, I mean, if, if you look at the economy behind, then uh, you'll see that the game was pretty much over a few minutes ago, but... Yeah, see, with that attack, I didn't want to, I was going to, right, right, I'm going to kill the palace and then go back. Yeah, just save. Yeah, recover again. The, so, the, try not to lose my whole army. I think in this match, well, one of the mistakes anyway was making the palace too front. There was no real benefit for that, I think. Um, I only lasted as long as I did because the palace was there. Um, <laughs> I was able to bring my un my villagers up. Without that, his earlier attack would have won. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, obviously, 
with looking at the map as well, it's you, you definitely had a harder spawn because if you look at where the green is, it's like way closer to me. I could have just like oh cornered, yeah, that's no problem. that's also a Whereas, point. Yeah, Whereas you kind of were forced to play aggressively. I mean, he has much more green area to build on if you go aggressively, but at the same time, it's less defensive. He had more metal as well, so if you notice, there's metal at the very bottom. Whereas all my metal is quite far out, so I suppose it's like uh, that's why you got a while to get metal actually. Mm, that's all right. It wasn't too bad. It was a good game though. But yeah, earlier on in the game, I'd have lost immediately if if it weren't for that palace and being able to chase away his initial light axe. I don't think all the to light axe did much damage. At, at most, a little bit of idle, but nothing too significant. You're pretty even even at that stage. Um, yeah, with light axes, my my intention is very rarely to actually kill anything. It's more just to annoy the other person. Because hmm. um, that's, that's the thing with light axe, it's just like, go in, do a tiny bit of damage, go out again, run away. I think the biggest yeah. difference is that um, Mud Crowd made the light axeman and heavy axeman, which was pre pretty much only food. So he could focus primarily on gathering to wood and uh, clay and metal and just produce more and more farms consistently hmm. and safely. Um, yeah, that's what I mean about, like, because uh, obviously the ceiling, it costs 15 wood, which doesn't seem like a lot, but 10 ceiling, that's already 150 wood. It's yeah, that's that's gonna stack up eventually. Also, he had scribes, and that's, I think that's gonna, that was substantial in the, in the tech points. Yeah, I was looking, I was like, I was fairly safe, so I thought I'll go, I'll go for scribes, because I wanted to get, like, the infantry upgrades and stuff. Yeah, I was looking like how much points are you getting every few seconds and I was like, what the hell, that's that's a lot. Anyways, that was a nice match overall. Yep, yeah, good game. Yeah, well played. I see that there has to be a way to manage the economy pretty strongly. You need to know what you're doing exactly, because otherwise... Um, there's gonna be a big mass of an army from the other opponent pretty fast. So that's mm. uh, important in this game. I mean, in other RTS games, you can be a bit more relaxed and there's other methods how to deal with that. You know, OP towers, um, maybe the map is big, so you can be a bit more um, chill. Or maybe even your town center has some big defensive measure so you can survive even a big attack. But in this game, no. You lose your army, you lose your game. It's yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this game is hard for PvP anyway. You have to learn a lot. I think what I like about this, which I haven't really seen in many other RTSs, is, is the um, the hunger thing. Yes. Because with a lot, a lot of the time, you can't just like mass a massive army. Yes. Like with it, like I'd, I'd wanted to sit back and just continue making troops, but like, I at some points I just had to attack because I was starving and I was like, well, I might as well just send these guys in. Because if you know if I do damage, all right. If they die, then I still also an advantage. I suppose in that way, it kind of forces you to fight more. Well, if you stick to the end, then uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, consider subscribing to my channel, liking, commenting, and all the good stuff. And yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.